all right welcome to my channel and here i will be uh showing you how you can uh solve four questions on a truncated hexagonal pyramid so i mean i'm going to show you how you can draw the front view and the complete plan and the end elevation and also the true shape of a truncated hexagonal pyramid you are watching my video for the first time you are welcome and i want to ask you that subscribe to this youtube channel put on the notification bell and share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students and also practice this subject because this is a practical subject when you practice it you become a master at it now for the uh, hexagonal pyramid we have the hexagonal base uh, to be of uh, we have uh, distance across corners distance as uh, distance across corners for the hexagon is 60 millimeters so why the height of the pyramid is also 60 millimeters so let's see what we are to do here first so the first that what we are going to do is to draw a vertical center line as i'm going to show it here so we we'll draw a vertical center line like this so we we'll draw a vertical center line also we draw a horizontal center line okay then we are going to draw a circle of radius 30 millimeters because the distance across corners given to us is 60 so we have to draw a circle of radius of radius 30 okay Right, so this is the circle so with uh the midpoint of a compass here we make an arc here we make an arc down here and also with the midpoint point of our compass here we make an arc here and we also make an arc here all right so what we are going to do now is to uh join this point together to form an hexagon so i'll join this point with this point and i'll also come here and join these two points together to form a side of the hexagon and also I will join these two points together like this also I will join these two points together like this then I will join these two points together like this also I will join these two points together All right, so we have formed from the hexagon. So that is how to form the hexagon. So I'm going to number this uh, point as this is one. So this is point two, this is point three, this is point four, this is point five, and this is point six. Okay, so those corners we have to number them as I've done it here. So the next that we're going to do is that we we'll go up a little bit and we we'll draw a horizontal uh, line here cross at any distance then the next that we are going to do is to draw a vertical line from this point so we take a vertical line from this point corner so meeting the uh the horizontal line so we meet it draw it and it stop on the horizontal line so we also draw it here stop on the horizontal line and also we draw from here and it stops on the horizontal line so we have it like this so the next thing that we are going to do is to take the height of the pyramid which is 60 millimeters as i said so from this point here so we are going to take 60 millimeters up so this is 60 millimeters here so the next thing that we are going to do is to uh, join this point so we join this point here on the horizontal line together with the apex of the pyramid so also so we we'll draw this then so we also come here so we draw this and then so we also draw from this point to the apex so we are going to number this point so we have one here so i will call this one we call it one prime here we have two six so i will call this two prime comma six prime okay so this is three prime then we have five prime and this is four prime here okay to this to, to differentiate these ones from the numbering that we have here 
So the next thing that I'm, uh, that I'm going to do is to locate the point where we are going to have the cutting plane that will cut off part of this pyramid in order for us to have a truncated hexagonal pyramid, the front view of a truncated hexagonal pyramid. So I'll just take a distance of uh, a distance of um, so 20 millimeters or 25. Let me take it as 25. Okay, so this 25, I will take it. I will take it to this point. So I have it at this point. Okay, so you can't take the measurement straight on this line. So you know it will not be accurate. So you take it on this center line and you trace it outside here. So let's say the cutting plane is at an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal. So I'm taking my 30 degree cell square. So my 30 degree cell square, I'm taking like this. And I will draw the cutting plane. I'll draw the cutting plane. So this is the cutting plane. So it goes like this. So that means this part is cut off and we have this part left. So we need to make this line from here. We need to make this line a thick line. So this line also will also be a thick line. So this line will also be a thick line. So this line will also be a thick line. Okay. Then, so this line also make it a thick line like this okay so i believe you can see it all right the next thing that we are going to do is to join these corners together as we have joined corner uh, one and four together so we join corner three and six together so by drawing this diagonal and also join corner two and five together by drawing this diagonal okay now when this part is cut off, we are going to have a rough surface in the plan, so which has to be shown because we are going to have a rough surface here. By this, by the time we remove this, we are going to have a rough surface here. To that rough surface, we are looking at this, the object truncated part downward. We are going to see the rough surface here in the plan, so we have to show it in the plan. So what we need to do now, whenever the cutting plane touch this line, this line, this line, and this line, apart from this one in the center. So we are going to draw a vertical line down into the plan. So what I mean is this. So from this point, so draw a vertical line down to the plan. So wherever the, so you can see that this line contains, this line is meant for one. So it is for one. So we have the meeting point. So this vertical line, meet line, one horizontal at this point here. So we take note of this point. Then this line contains two and six. So we're going to draw a vertical line from this point. We draw it down into the plan. So this is point two here. And this is point six here. Okay. Then we come here. So this contains three and five. So we have to draw a vertical line from this point. Like this. So it touches three at this point and touches five at this point. So the last one is for four. So which we are going to take from here. So we draw it down and touch it at this point. So we take note of this point here. So all these points, we have to join them together with a straight line. So we join this point together like this. So this point will be joined together. So this point will be joined together. So we join this together. So we join this together. And we also join this together. Alright, so um so the next thing that we are going to do is to show that this is a rough surface. So how do we show that with our 45 degree cell square? We draw arching lines on this surface. All right, so this is what shows that the surface is rough. So the next thing that we are going to do, so we have drawn the complete plan, and this is the front elevation. So we want to draw the end elevation now. So how are we going to draw that? What we need to do now is to draw a horizontal line from this point 
So you draw a horizontal line like this from this point and also you come to this point here, you draw a horizontal line and you come up here also, you draw a horizontal line like this. Then we also need to extend this horizontal line at the base of the pyramid. So the next thing that we're going to do is to take our set square, 45 degree set square set at this point on the front elevation and draw an inclined line in this direction. So wherever this line touches the horizontal line that we produce out of the plan, so we are going to draw vertical line from each point. So we have this point, we have this point, and we have this point. So what we are going to do now is to draw a vertical line from this point. So here we draw a vertical line. So to stop on this horizontal line, and this will go up. So this is a vertical line that will go up. So then we draw this, it stops on the horizontal line. So we need to extend this line so that we can get the height of the pyramid. So we have this. So then let's locate this point of the apex. So we have this point here. I just mark this. So now I'm going to join this point together. So we join this point together with the apex. And we also join this point together with the apex. Okay. So the next thing that we are going to do is that, so we are going to number this. So on this line, this line contains two and three. So we have two and we have what we have three. And this line here, it contains one and four. And this line contains five and six. So we have to take note of that. So we have this. So the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to draw horizontal line from each of this point, from this point, from this point, from this point and from this point to locate this six point on this up on this part on this surface so that we can draw the uh the end elevation in complete form what we are doing is that we are looking at the object in this direction after we have removed this part we are looking at the object in this direction so what are we going to see so we are going to see this point as we have here which contains uh six uh five and six this point contains one and four and this point contains two and three so that's why we have this point to be point two and three this is one and four and this is five and six so we are going to draw a horizontal line from this point as i said so here we draw a horizontal line so this horizontal line it is drawn from what from point four and where do we have four we have four along this line so it means that this point is point four here this is point four so we take note of it then we come up here this contains three and five when we draw a horizontal line from here, so where do we have three? We have three at this point on this line, and we have five on this line here. So then we also draw from this point here. So we draw a horizontal line from here. So this contains two and six. So on this line we have two. On this line we have what we have six. Then last one is one. So from this point, we draw a horizontal line from this point. Okay, so on this line. We have one at this point. So we are going to join this point together. So we join this point together. So we join this point together with this. So we join this together. Together with this. So we also join. So here we have made this one a thick line. And then we join this together with this. And then so we join this together with this. And make this a thick line. You can see we have those six points on the end elevation. So what we are going to do now is to arch the surface, to draw arching lines on the this surface with a 45 degree set square. So we also draw arching lines on this surface to show that that part is rough. All right, so also, so we are going to make this line a thick line. So we make this line also a thick line. And we make this line a thick line. Okay, so this line will also be drawn as a thick line. All right, so that is the end elevation. This is how the end elevation will look. Next thing that we are going to do that they may ask us to put in our drawing is the true shape of 
this uh, surface so how can we do that so this line this cutting plane is inclined at an angle 30 degree so what we are going to do now is to draw a perpendicular line to each of these points that means we'll draw a line that will be at a right angle to each of these points so how do we do that we are going to use our 60, the 60 degree side of our cell square to do that so that we can make it 90 degree we can make the line to be at 90 degree to each of these points so we we'll draw this line and also we draw a line from here so here we draw a line from this point and here also we draw a line from this point here so we are going to extend this line so I need to extend these lines okay so we are drawing the true shape so what we need to do now so after this extension, we draw a pi line to this line. So that means we have to use a 30, 30 degree cell square to do that. So I just so any distance, any distance. Go out. No. Go out. So on this line here, so this point we have point one. This is one. And this point here we have what we have four. So this is four. So we need to locate other point so how can we locate the other other point so uh we just come here so this is line two this is line six so we have a line in the middle of these two points here between two and six here so uh the distance from here to here is equal to distance from here to here and two and six so what we need to do is to take this distance with our compass so we take distance with compass so from so from here to here, um, so we take distance. So from, so we take distance from here to here. So we come on to line two six. So this point here in the middle of this line. So we make an arc here, and also we make an arc here. Okay. Also we come to. The midpoint of 3 and 5, which is this point in the middle here. So you just take this distance from here to here. Then we come on to line 2, uh, line 3, 5. So we have this point. Uh, okay, so we have this point, And we also have this point here. Alright, so we are going to join this point together. So we join this point together. Alright, so then, so we need to complete the true shape. So what we need to do now is to use our 45 degree cell square to arch this surface. Alright, so that is the true shape. So we have drawn the elevation of a truncated hexagonal pyramid. So we have the complete plan. We have the end elevation looking in this direction. And we also have the true shapes. As simple as I've shown it here, all you need to do is to practice. Thank you and keep on practicing.